Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to use the clipboard API to copy text to your clipboard. So I have created a video for, about this uh, previously. This was a while back ago, but I was using the exec command in this. And if you go to MDN about this, uh, it does talk about how some browsers will stop uh, supporting this, may, so, yeah, may drop this. I don't know when that would be, but I think it's a good time to look into the clipboard API and maybe um, move away from this. The only downside is it's not compatible with IE. So if you still need to support that, I think there's probably a couple of ways we could um, see of how to check for if the, clip, if the clipboard is supported based on the browser. And if it's not, then we can use the exec command. So I'm just gonna show a quick demo on this. So if I click on copy, It'll copy it, change the text real fast to let you know it's copied, and it'll copy it to my clipboard. Uh, another thing that we can also do, I have gotten requests about, is if I want to show a toast after I click on copy, uh, we can do that as well. So if I click here, it'll say copied, and it'll copy it to my clipboard. I am using Bootstrap 5 to kind of speed up this process, so I will show you guys how to do that. Um, any framework will work, or you can do it from scratch whatever you guys prefer. So yeah, let's jump into VS Code and let's get started. All right, guys, I have VS Code open here and I created a directory called current project and I've created two files that are empty, which is index.html and index.js. So I'm gonna create the HTML boilerplate. I'm gonna do shift one, enter, and that'll create the HTML and I'm just gonna rename the title to copy text. And then I'm going to include the JS file that I created. So I'm gonna say source index.js. And let's go ahead and get Bootstrap set up. So I'm gonna be using their CDN to just get the files so I don't have to mess with installing it in my local or anything. So I copied the CSS. I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, let's wrap that and let's do the JavaScript because we'll need that to for the toast component. All right, perfect. So now we can get started with um, showing our copy button and the text for it. So here I'm gonna have a div that's gonna have a class of container. And let's go ahead and just open this with the live server. And let's see what we uh, need to add here now. So um, in here, I'm gonna have a div I'm gonna use Emma to generate classes because it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna use Dflex. I'm gonna give align items baseline. And this will all make sense. I'm going to align the items baseline so the uh, button and text are um, leveled. That'll make sense whenever you see it. All right, so now inside here, let's have the button. Let's give this an ID of copy URL BTN. Let's give this a class of BTN, uh, BTN dash primary, and then BTN SM, which will make it a small button. And we're just going to give this label of copy. And then let's create a P tag with an ID of copy URL text. And then let's give this a class of MS5, which is margin start uh, five. So it'll push it to the left a little bit. And I'm just gonna say copy this text. Okay, so now I'm gonna push this container down a little bit. So I'm gonna do MT5. All right. And this needs to be aligned items. There we go. So that's that you can see there that it's leveled now. All right, so that is really it for the JavaScript, I mean, for the HTML side. The only other thing we need to add is the toast, uh, which the HTML for the toast, so we'll add that after. Let's get the clipboard functionality working so that we can get to that. Okay, so in the, our index.js, the first thing we need to do is grab the ID uh, element of the button and add a event handler to that for on click. So I'm gonna say copy URL BTN. I'm gonna say on click 
set that to a function. And inside this function, I'm going to call the navigator.clipboard. And I'm going to call this method called write text. So this is only going to take in a string, but this returns a promise. And there's nothing that gets passed back from the promise, so it's just a void return. Uh, nothing gets returned. So the way this uh, we're going well, sorry, the way this works is document dot get element by ID. So we're gonna pass in this uh, text of this p tag. All right. So we created a ID for it called copy text, or I don't know why I called this copy URL. Is that what I named? Yeah. <laughs> um, this should be maybe copy text btn and copy text okay and this is going to be inner text because we only want to grab the text of it not the HTML if there was any HTML inside the p tag okay let's rename that to copy text btn so now we're going to grab the string of this and then we're going to get a promise so we need to dot use dot then and then have a function nothing gets returned in the function so here we can just say console.log text has been copied and that's it so you guys will see that now I'm going to inspect and when I click copy it'll say text has been copied and when I paste that it's copy this text has been it's been copied and yeah, that's really it. If this is all you guys came for, well, there you go. Um, now what I'm going to do is just show you what I showed you in the demo is how to show this to be show copied for a split second and also the toast, which shouldn't take too long because we're just using Bootstrap. So let's use the um, let's change the text to copied in the button. That should be a fairly straightforward thing to do. So we are uh, already have access to the button element to be able to modify the text inside here so uh, using this but we can't access this to this reference inside here because it uh, belongs to this so the way we can go around that is create a variable and uh, set it to underscore this and then what we can do is underscore this dot inner text equal to and we're going to change it to copied and then let's set a set timeout. So after a second, let's revert it back to copy. Okay, inner text, copy. All right, let's see in this in action. There you go, pretty easy. Now let's go ahead and set up the toast. That's pretty easy as well. Um, if we just follow the bootstrap documentation. So let's go into docs and let's just search for the toast component and what I'm going to show you guys is so it's going to look something like this kind of and I'm going to place it in the bottom center like this okay so there's a little bit of HTML that I need to write and I won't just copy it I'll probably I'll just write it from scratch so you guys can follow along So the first thing we're going to do is create a container div. So this is going to have a class of toast container. And we're going to position it uh, using, using absolute position. And we're going to set the bottom to 0 pixels and then the start to 50. I think it's percent so that it'll be centered. And using translate uh, property, we can use uh, center it. So uh, Bootstrap already has all the classes for us, so we don't have to do any of the hard work in a CSS file to do this. So I'm going to do position, absolute, and p-3, and then we're going to do start 50, bottom 0, and then translate middle x. Okay, cool. And then we're going to create another div. Now this will be the actual toast. Okay, and I'm going to leave out all the um, accessibility stuff. Uh, of course, you guys don't want to leave that out in a production, but 
just for time's sake I'm gonna leave it out for this so then I'm gonna have a now inside this toast is like the uh, header or body so I'm not gonna have a header I'm just gonna have a toast body so this is gonna be toast dash body all right so whatever goes inside here will be displayed in the toast so I just want to say the text copied and then the X button so that the user can exit out of it. So I'm going to have another div and this is to align the um, copied text and then the X button in the same row. So I'm just, just going to use uh, display flex. I'm going to justify the content to be space between. And then I'm going to use a strong tag and say copied. And then I'm also going to have a button and I'm going to give this a class of btn close and uh, yeah that's it and then I don't need to add anything there I'm going to give this type of button and then we need to add a data property data dash bs dash dismiss so that uh, bootstrap will know to uh, close this specific toast whenever you click on the X button So yeah, that should be it. The only thing now we need to do is initialize this toast using the bootstrap instance um, That they show you how to do that here uh, using JavaScript so in here What we're gonna do is this is to call multiple toast um, Select multiple toasts and map them since we only have one. We don't need to go through all this so I'm just going to say toast. I'm going to grab the um, single toast we have by using query selector. And then I'm going to initialize the bootstrap and call this toast method, pass this toast element into it. And I'm just going to call toast.show. OK. So now if I hit copy, awesome. And if I click X, it'll close out of the toast. All right, guys, that's it. Short and simple. Um, I do want to show you one more thing is if you guys are concerned about using this in IE, the way you can bypass it is you can simply do if navigator.clipboard and then have all of this uh, here. Otherwise, you can have an else condition using the exec command, which if you want to follow, I already have a video on that. Uh, you guys can check that one out. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Alright guys, that's it. Short and simple. If you guys like this video, please like it. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.